What's happening, amazing Forex traders? Is yours truly once again, Dapo Willis, and welcome to today's version of Trader Talk. Today is Tuesday, and like I always promise, I always try as much as possible to come on here and deliver to you guys some of the best Forex content um, that you guys will ever come across on the internet. Um, so once again, I welcome you guys to today's episode of Trader Talk. Now guys, today I'm actually quite excited because some of the trades that we analyzed um, last week, for instance, AUD USD has played out fantastically. Um, the Euro is a bit uh, slippery, but today we're going to be analyzing it because I have actually spotted a very amazing bullish setup that I feel you guys can take advantage of. So yeah, we've made some money from the previous weeks. Um, we have another trade that is about to kick off as well. So um, I, I, I urge you guys to stay to the very end. Now, I have a little message um, for Forex traders who are always stuck in front of their screen. Guys, always being in front of your computer is not the best way to go about Forex, okay? After nine years, I found out that the most successful traders are the traders who actually trade the least amount of times, okay? Being in front of your screen and constantly searching and scanning for trading opportunities will only lead you to taking trades that you just don't really need to take, okay? Um, in this case, in, in regards to being a profitable Forex trader, less is more. Um, so that's a little message I wanted to share with you guys today. And for those of you who haven't joined the Forex Mastery Program, I encourage you guys to do so. It would save you time. It will save you money, okay? If indeed you want to shorten your learning curve as to, to the shortest, to, if you want to shorten your learning curve um, by the shortest amount of time possible, I suggest you, the link is going to be down below. It's 99 bucks. It is so freaking affordable. I know I keep talking about the Forex Mastery Program because to be honest, it's one of the best courses I've seen out there. All the strategies and the methodologies on the ideologies that i use in my day-to-day -day and my weekly analysis everything i put it on there on the forex mastery program i'm using the same ideologies the same strategies that are on there the forex mastery students for those of you who are already on the program welcome to another version of trader talk um you know like i said to you guys once you're done with the Forex Mastery course, come back on my YouTube channel and continue consuming my content. For those of you guys who are on the program, you know how amazing it is. And yeah, tell tell your friends, tell your family, if indeed they want to make Forex trading work for them in the best way possible, they need to grab the program. Anyways, enough about the Forex Mastery program. I think we should hop into some charts and see um, what exactly is making me quite excited today. All right, guys, let's go inside of my screen um obviously first of all we're going to kick off with AUD USD. this has been an absolute beauty um if you guys don't know what um what we're looking at at the moment we're currently looking at AUD USD uh, on the daily time frame um for the past two and a half to three weeks i've been calling long on AUD USD. um pretty nicely done our entries were somewhere about here I took out 50% of my position at the 100% retracement, so I still have about 3.28 lots left running on this pair at the moment. Overall, targets are going to be at this blue zone somewhere about here. Are we going to have some form of a retracement? Probably. Not exactly sure if I take my Fibonacci from swing low to swing high. So this is exactly why we're experiencing some form of um, some form of a some form of a resistance at the moment because we are currently at the 0.27 extension which is the second profit profit taking level for um most institutional traders so um yes i'm going to be holding on for dear life <laughs> i'm going to be holding on to AUD USD long trades at the moment i have been able to bank something it's been absolutely amazing and i don't think there's anything much to discuss on AUD USD. um i'm just going to slide i'm just going to go over to a higher time frame to see um just in case we break current resistance levels um so next level target is going to be here 0.800 which is a round number the AUD USD loves to respect round numbers, so I'm I'm definitely sure we're going to see some form of a reversal somewhere around here. And if I quickly delete um, everything that I have on a minor scale, just going to expand this pretty nicely. If I just go ahead and delete everything, I just delete everything just by looking at pure price action, pure price action. From what I can actually see here is AUD US is racing to the top here. This is looking like a neckline, right? Um, we might see a decline from from this 
from here all the way down here and um, potentially a rabbit hole to the upside um, I'm not 100% certain of that obviously when the market gets here we shall reanalyze I'm just trying to envision into the future just to see what can potentially happen because I can from what I can see I can see a left shoulder a right shoulder might form here now guys you have to understand that this is a monthly time frame so um, for the fact that this is a monthly time frame, if we're going to travel all the way from here to here, um, it's going to take us months, if not up to a year. Um, just look at how long it's taking us to go from this level, this zone, to this. if we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months to go from here to here. Um, so expect it to take another eight months for it to come from here to here. If we break here, upside. Okay. If we stall here, here. Now, why am I anticipating this? Um, you're like, all right, Dubs, it's going to take forever for the market to play out like that. I'm not doing this because I want to trade it exactly. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to, because this is a higher time frame, right? For the fact that this is a higher time frame, okay? If I can anticipate early, early, early enough, if I can, if I can, if I can see. Um, if I can, if the market can tell me early enough what it wants to do, then I know that, for instance, if the market is going to get here, turn around and collapse all the way down here, and it's going to take us eight months to come here, I know now I can plan that um, once we get here, eight months from once we touch here is going to be bearish. I'll take that again. Let's say we get here in August, right? I don't think it's going to, obviously, we're going to get here maybe in the coming, probably end of february middle of march we should be here probably even closer right obviously because the market is quite bullish if we get here and i start to see a reversal and i see a bearish engulfing candle and the market is looking like it's pointing back to the downside i can now say for certain that from march eight months onwards the us is going to be bearish so what this will help me pretty much do is it will help me like position my mindset and say, listen, AUD USD is going to be bearish for the next eight months. All, all I should be looking out for is what selling opportunities. So like I say, I always come on the higher time frame to give me a bias, a direction. Once I have the correct direction, I'm good to go. But um, that I'm going to be analyzing, obviously reanalyzing this market once we get here, um, maybe end of this month or middle of March, whenever it is we get here. Based on how price action reacts here, I will then be obviously taking a decision. However, at the moment, this is looking like a bullish reversal to the upside. If I take my um if i take my trend line from swing low so from swing high and join the point uh, this is a, a you know a reversal to the upside if we break here we're going to come here however if we get here and just, I'm, the reason i'm saying we might come and test here again is just from experience you know the market usually likes to complete because this is a left shoulder it might come and complete the right shoulder it's looking like a head however if that does if we just blow past this next level targets are going to be here so um that's AUD USD in a nutshell there's nothing too much to really discuss on this pair because we're currently forex mastery students i can see some of you guys already send me your charts on AUD USD i know you guys have already banged some very juicy pips on this pair obviously from the previous analysis that we called on AUD USD so like i said guys AUD USD not much to discuss today um the trade is already in motion i'm all, all i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be simply locking in uh, moving my stop losses to lock in some more pips as obviously the time um goes on give me a sec let me quickly adjust this right about here okay so the gate the, the the deciding point is obviously going to be when we get here are we going to break like right above let's just go above um are we going to break right above all the way to the upside um or are we going to um get here and spin around but for now we're long and we're obviously in profit now guys i'm going to take you guys over to my next pair which on my watch list which happens to be the euro at the moment the euro as you can see my chart is very bare we're going to quickly try and plot on some key levels quickly quickly and quite nicely for those of you guys who want to learn how to plot le key levels like i do the forex mastery course will help you out with that I'm not here to discuss any of that at the moment because clone this bad boy I already know where the levels are. Sorry, I took out all my levels because I'm currently in the... For the Forex Mastery students, I'm currently in the process of updating the program. I have already shot five new modules for the course. 
Um, so yes, do you guys anticipate, anticipate, anticipate? Okay, we're gonna have five new modules on the Forex Mastery course pretty soon. Um, so yeah, you guys just anticipate some new modules on the Forex Mastery program whereby for some of you guys were complaining about the fact that you wanted more examples um, you wanted more examples on on the on certain issues for instance like top-down analysis how to plot your level so all I did was I'm basically adding more examples and um, obviously I, there's a module on trader psychology um, how to program your mind to be a successful trader and stuff like that so Forex mastery students look so I in about seven to ten days the platform should be updated so just log in and check um yeah just log in and check so yeah this is a um, this is the euro dollar just going to quickly go over to the weekly time frame to make sure that my levels have been plotted properly yes indeed um so we're good here i'm going to quickly highlight my key my minor levels which is up which is actually here this is why I don't like deleting my levels. It just gives me a nightmare to absolutely come back and plot them on. So we have this. Actually, I don't want that to be there. I want this to be here. The euro is looking like we, we are ready. And I'll explain to you guys why I feel like the euro is ready shortly. So I just move this into the future a little bit. Um, as you can see, trend lines going from swing low to swing high. Forex mastery students, you know how to do this already. Simple and straightforward. Always ensure to draw your trend lines on the wicks of the candle. Guys, if we had drawn this too close to the body, we would have thought that first of all, this was a breakout. We would have sold here. The market would have come in, stopped us out. We would have sold again, thinking this was a retest. And now, I know a lot of people who are short this market, and now the market is looking like it wants to take them out for stop loss. Because if you if you had shorted this on the break of this trend line, I know your entries that have been here, your stop losses that have been here. So I remember those times when I would get into a wrong trade and I will just be looking at the market. Every time I'll be checking my MT4 on my phone, I'll be like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this thing is getting close to stopping me out. Yes, this is what it's looking like. So everybody who didn't listen to me and decided to what go short is currently getting their ass handed to them on their hands <laughs> at the moment. However, all you need to do is just draw it properly. Draw it on the wicks of the candle. And as you can see, this is looking like a false breakout and we've come to test it again and we're pointing to the upside. So I'm going to delete this trend line because we already know this trend line support. We're trading above it. Good. Delete this. Now I'm going to come um, and pretty much draw another minor support level which is somewhere about here now guys looking back we have actually already made money on the euro um when we sold from i think it was about here all the way down here now we were expecting this to be the support that would catapult this market into here however because of how we retraced like i said earlier i wasn't comfortable with i wasn't comfortable with the way we came into this level i was looking for more like a double bottom to take us to the upside and i told everybody stay away from the euro until we have a proper base form on this level and truth be told what happened the market came, the market indeed came to break this level because it wanted to come and test this level now guys you have to understand that the market will always fulfill its key technical levels I don't care if the sometimes the market sometimes I'm I'm very skeptical and get up about getting into certain trades. Why? Because the market just hasn't there are certain levels that I just expect the market to fulfill, and because it hasn't fulfilled them, it just looks quite premature. For the fact that we were just hanging on here, about here, and there was so much space to the downside, I just wasn't comfortable. And as you can see, the market indeed, indeed came, indeed came to um test this level and we have what, what have you done we've come back above this level and we've come and we closed above it we tried to stay above it however the market dipped back down again however we've wake back up so you can tell that this guy the market can relate like he identifies with this level however he wanted to test this level and you guys know me i have what they call criteria for entry I keep saying to you guys, if the market has 
showed you before that it wants to use this support level okay it wants to use this support level and we come and break it okay all you need to do is wait for the market to come back above that level once we are able to come back above that level what this simply means is that the market is now ready to start heading in your direction i'll take it again this was the level okay and once we broke below it i said to myself this was the level that euro talk gave me like guy this is what you told me you told me that this you told me this is the level like you told me this is your level and you have broken it okay yes it's fine you want to come and test this level but the only way i'm going to take you seriously is if you can come back above here and close above here and ladies and gentlemen the euro has done just that it came it closed above it although we but we i remember trying to buy somewhere around here the market went and um it hit my first level target move stop loss to break even and we were able to take about 2.3 percent and came out of the market the market now fell back down here to be honest i was actually anticipating this market to come back down here to come and form so what i can see here is left shoulder head right shoulder okay left shoulder head right shoulder in addition to that i have fibonacci play from swing low to swing high okay so this is a b c d is going to complete somewhere about here everything is on our side bullish momentum is on our side trend line support this market is trading above trend line from from when we drew it earlier okay um it has come to take out all the stop losses okay for this what they call market manipulation move as you can see the market came down below the support took out all the stops that were oh my goodness what are these emails that keep coming in oh and shama okay i hear you yalla leave me alone quit emails stop sending me emails please cool um so yeah back to what i was saying so uh shit i forgot what i was saying <laughs> guys 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 these emails are distracting me anyways back to what i was saying so we have come to take out all the stops down here for i won't really call it the market manipulation the market just wanted to come and fulfill its level period okay and we've come up above it and we've tested it now it has come closed and tested it and jumped above now i'm okay now i feel better about it now it's making me feel like now the market is making me feel like it knows exactly where it's heading to and in addition to that i can see what an inverse head and shoulder left right head all pointing to the upside so i have three to four reasons why i should be buying this market now guys like i keep telling you guys forex is all about probabilities you want to build you want to stack all the probabilities in your own favor okay the more confluence you have the more reason you have okay the more reason you have in in regards to evidence okay as long as you have more evidence the market is most likely going to play out in your direction so consider yourself an investigator consider yourself an, an fbi agent all we're doing when we go on higher time frames is to find evidence okay i want to see evidence as to you know why this market should head higher i need evidence to back up my claim okay once i have enough evidence then i can strike you have to consider yourself a sniper trader i mean from the first very first volume of this trader talk you've been seeing me i've been carefully carefully the trades i take i'm very careful i'm not in a hurry i think since this this um since this trader talk segment started i've probably only taken about two to three trades why i'm because i'm waiting i'm cautious um about three trades two have been wildly profitable one has stopped us out for break even and about some, about two percent plus no losing trades so far why because i've been extra careful i'm not jumping in and out of trades i'm not interested in that one bit okay why because i'm trying to stack up evidence i'm going on higher time frames. i'm trying to see reason as to why this market should head higher so that in the event that this market doesn't go in my direction i know that i have done everything within my capacity within my own capacity i've done everything within my power to put in this i'm not trying to say the euro is going to go and fly up 100 percent but i know that i've done my own part so i'm sure 90 percent this market is going to go in my favor so if my odds are 90 percent in my favor and 10 percent to that of the market now i feel more comfortable risking my capital you know because at the end of the day well, trading is a game 
okay? It's a game of probabilities. How do you win the game? You have to stack the probabilities in your favor. Anyways, enough of, enough of all that ranting. Um, so yeah, the euro is looking pretty nice. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Let's go to smaller time frame to see how we can potentially jump into this bad boy. I was actually quite busy. I would have loved to get, I would have loved to get in at, at the close of this candle right above here. It's quite busy. I haven't entered the euro at the moment, but I think I'm going to be jumping in today to be honest. Um, this is a pretty nice one for me. Uh, actually, so guys, let me tell you, Forex Mastery students, let me teach you guys a little trick, a little entry strategy, right? Now, when I come here, there's so many four-hour candles here. Like, you don't, there's no, there's no real setup. There's no real, like, the setup isn't, like, 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 there's no real candlestick four-hour, one-hour pattern to get into this market. If... I don't have anything of that sort, but I still want to get into the market. All I simply do is I I get into the market at the daily candle close. At what the daily candle close? Okay. So at the at, at the end of at the close of today's candle, I will be getting into. Actually, I should have got it in yesterday. I was so distracted, so 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 distracted. Um, I, I'll be jumping in here now, guys. There's something else I want to call to your attention as well. Um, I, I have seen, so I'm 90% bullish. However, there, when I get into a trade, I also look out for reasons as to why the trade can might not potentially work out. Are you guys with me? I, I also look for reasons why the trade might not potentially work out. Now, when I did my previous analysis, analysis sometime in, I think, January, there was a horizontal line that was somewhere about here. If I look back, I think there was a horizontal line somewhere about here. I think that dates back. So from what I can see, the market is currently testing that horizontal line at the moment. Okay. Um, so it's a bit, it's a bit dicey for me. I'm a bit confused. Do I get in now or do I wait? So I'm going to actually jump into this market because, um, I think I have everything it takes for this market to head higher. We have tested this level before and we've come back to retest it again. I think this second test will be a break. So what, what I'm going to do is my entries are going to be here. My stop losses need to come all the way back down below this support level about here because it's also a possibility that we can obviously test down here before we obviously take out higher to the upside. Um, I will be going long on Euro USD and the candle close today um, for further upside. Also, if I draw my counter trend line like so, from what I can see, we have what they call a breakout this is this is a typical case of a breakout retest continuation to the upside oh my goodness i wish i'd gotten shit i wish i'd gotten into this market a bit earlier actually that wouldn't have been the case because i remember saying to myself that the only way i'm going to jump back into this market is if we clear this resistance level about here so we're actually correct we're actually on time now, why did I put? Why did I say the only the only reason I'm gonna get back into this market is until we break above here? Is because the reason I said that is I bought somewhere about here. The market came and formed the double top where I took out 50% of my position and I closed out the rest of my. Come again. I took out 50% of my position and I moved the rest of my trade stop loss to break even. We came, took some money out, and then the market came and stopped me out for break even. Now, anytime that happens, I always say to myself. Until this market comes and clears right back above this level, I'm not interested in getting into the market, okay? So, um, that's pretty much it. Until we come and clear above it, we have broken above, but this isn't exactly too convincing. So, for our daily candle close, will give would be a decent entry. Um, but just looking at the 4-hour time frame now, I would like to see the 4-hour candle scratch what i said before okay i would like to see a four hour candle come and close above the, so a bullish engulfing four hour candle close just come and push it up a little bit more all i'm trying to do is i'm trying to get, make wait for this market to clear this previous region where it had issues all i'm doing is the market has showed me before that it had issues here i needed to come and come back to this level and tell me i don't i no longer have issues with this level daps i'm ready to head higher that's all i'm waiting for so i think a four hour candle close above here will just suffice to be honest hopefully it does that right um 
on ordinarily i would have gotten in on this daily candle close but the reason why i'm not getting on the daily candle close is because there is there is this guy this guy is stressing me out there's a black line there's a black line okay there's a black line and it seems like this market is currently testing this black line like so okay so a four hour candle close above here stop losses need to come below here um this would be a the risk to reward isn't so great on the euro but what i'm going to do is this um once i enter into this trade and then the market gives me some pips in profit i will scale to a one hour time frame look for pullbacks to add an additional buy trade for a better risk to reward but i will get in okay um i will get in no matter how little i make on the euro is fine i will enter on the first trade and then i will stack in this kind of situation i will stack why because my entry to stop loss ratio is probably going to be looking like a two and a half or three to one which isn't what i usually like to bank i like to go for like a seven or nine to one so i'll get in four hour candle close above here I'll, i shall be getting in for sure and then um, i'll look for a pullback somewhere around here to add an, an additional buy trade um and then obviously ride this guy all the way to the moon um obviously you know first level targets must come here first level targets must what come here um so we have all this space to the upside actually we have all this space to the upside um and then once you clear here we're going to come all the way up here so the euro ladies and gentlemen in a nutshell i'm 90 percent bullish on this all we're looking out for is the best way to get into this market um like i said there are two ways you can get into this market daily candle close is fine stop losses need to come here don't don't fool yourself and come and put your stop loss here i'm begging you because this guy can pull in here stop you up and then head higher protect yourself let it come below the support level about here i don't care how wide your stop loss is that is where your stop loss should go for this setup okay don't 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 play yourself and be greedy and say okay i'm just going to quickly put it here and just hope that it no, no no it can come here like i keep telling you guys the market can be irrational longer than you can preserve capital in your account i'll take that again the market can act mad longer than you can sustain money in your trading account okay so in order for for you to avoid all of that this is exactly how as you can see i'm being as transparent as possible um daily candle close here is fine but ideally i want a four hour candle close above here um just because this black line i'm not too comfortable with it at all one bit let me come back to the four hour to see um yeah so i think four hour as you can see the market is pulling back I'm not quite comfortable with the way it's looking here so a four hour candle close you know to the upside the stop losses must come below here must must come below this level right about here and then yeah I'll, i think i'll be feeling a lot better about that so i'll be watching this market i'll be watching it very carefully i need a four hour candle close above here and i'll be hopping into the euro usd buy but 90 percent to the upside i'm very very certain about the euro very certain about the euro because i mean the market has given us all the clues it needs to give us it has told me everything it needs to tell me okay higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows okay higher highs higher lows invest head and shoulder pumping to the upside trend line supports fibonacci from swing low to swing high and the aud usd all the dollar pairs are looking quite strong at the moment aud usd upside euro um aud usd upside gbp usd has pretty much taken off to the upside um so we're just waiting on the euro so i don't see any reason why the euro should not follow suit as well now let's head over to gbp usd to see um and guys you have to understand i'm being very conservative on the euro because i have already made a significant amount of people on aud usd i'm not trying to give back the mark i'm not trying to give any pips back to this market that's for sure so yeah gbp usd like we anticipated and predicted next level target is going to be here remember when i predicted this 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 next level target was we were still here you know you can call me a genius uh, although i haven't found any way to get into this market so far that's just the honest truth and it's quite sad i wish i have found a way however the market hasn't really given me any any clear entry so i'm just going to draw my inner trend line here and hope and pray for a pullback into here hope and pray because one thing about me is i'm not going to pick the tops i'm not going to buy here i i'm a pullback trader you must pull back into me and bounce off that's the way i trade and that's the best way to trade because if you start picking and buying the tops you end up buying and getting stopped out and then before the market starts heading to the upside um so yeah
and this guy i was expecting this guy to pull back into here that didn't happen and that's fine i'm not i don't chase the market okay the market needs to come to me okay there's anything i've learned about forex that allow the market come to you so i have um gp usd don't worry i'm gonna keep coming here every week to update you guys hopefully we get a pull back into here for a third touch of the trend line hopefully i'm not sure hopefully that happens uh, if that doesn't happen if we just keep going all the way to the upside ladies and gentlemen i will not i don't care as much as i have anticipated that we're coming here for the fact that i have not been unable to find a very good entry i will stay out of it that is it. these are my rules and i stick to my rules my rules have helped me make a lot of money in forex okay um what else uh, the gold is still acting mad as usual mad guy mad guy <laughs> mad guy um so yes gold has formed so i'll call this a double bottom right about here um i won't be surprised if we start exp if this market blows out to the upside to be honest gold is gold is a bit crazy it's a crazy guy if you ask me okay gold we could roll over down we can blow to the upside but this double bottom if you're if you if you're a bearish trader you want to be careful this guy right here is not looking like he's joking we have actually come to the 100 percent retracement and we have stopped and we have turned around so you got to be careful i have no bias on gold um gold i see people on the telegram group gold is sending people back and forth up and down the whole place gold Thank you very much but i'm not interested in you what i'm interested in at the moment is the euro usd AUD usd is in profit I'm happy about that the euro please do something nice my nigerian brothers will say shake body please all right guys so this is trader talk volume five i think um thank you guys for staying till the very end obviously stay i have a message for you guys at the end of um this on my other side of the screen i'm trying to remember is there anything i'm missing out so this is the setup we have in front of us i know i know i know we're gonna rally all the way to the upside um it's just a situation of us clearing this black line okay you have to be patient let us clear this black line and yes the sky is the limit for us so a little bit of patience maybe um today is what wednesday i think no today is tuesday today is tuesday today is tuesday today is tuesday so maybe wednesday wednesday thursday we should have some clarity and then yes I will definitely trust me guys I will be buying clicking the buy button and then I'll catch you guys next week Tuesday all right guys take it easy and catch you guys on my other screen all right trader so there you go thank you for still staying to the very end of today's version of trader talk as you can see uh, I haven't really I'm not looking at that many forex pairs because I have a couple of trades that are already in play for instance the AUD USD which is already on its way to target the euro that I've showed you guys is going to get triggered very soon and I'm looking at at least 400 pips to the upside same with GBP USD as well so like I said earlier guys if you want to learn how to analyze the market like this as you can see it's not that difficult like I break it down in the simplest form possible right the forex mastery course is going to help you guys do all this i know i keep stressing about it but the reason i keep stressing about this is because i'm tired of getting messages and telegram emails and telegrams and emails of oh my god i just lost five thousand dollars oh my god i just lost I'm, I'm really tired so this is the only way i can help you guys and we have decided to make it as cheap as what as possible all right guys thank you for staying to the very end if you haven't already subscribed drop if you haven't already subscribed hit the subscribe button right there and drop me a comment the comments are what is going to make this youtube channel grow even if you don't get the course drop a comment because when you drop a comment you pretty much rank the video higher for other forex traders to see the video and it pretty much spreads the message right everybody gets to see the video everybody now knows that indicators and multi-level marketing schemes and signals don't work this is the best way to go about it once again thank you for staying to the very end love you guys take it easy and peace out